Hello everybody, welcome back. All is well, the clock is ticking, the dog is snoring, so all must be well. And what today I thought I'd show you how to do, oh, and listen, it's even chiming. What I thought I'd do today was show you how to do a little bit of single strand ring bolt hitching. So here's my piece of pipe that I do my practicing on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this, but also at the end of the video. So if you're, say, for example, doing this and you want to actually do a long length, I'll tell you exactly how much cordage I use to, say, do one inch or two inches, however much I do here. Um, and so, yeah, let's get on and start tying this. OK, so the first thing I do is I take my lead once around. So I've taken it once around. So let's do that again once around like so and then it's going to go underneath itself here so i'll just put my needle underneath there and take the excess through take the excess through like so and then pull it up nice and tight at our start point there okay so i've pulled it up nice and tight and now the next thing i do is that's just my starting one and after that first starting one, we're going to go in the same direction every single time. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lead around once, like so, and then I'm back at the beginning. And now that I'm back at the beginning, I'm just going to pull it up a little bit tighter and I'll put my thumb there to lock it in place. And so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go underneath that first one and underneath that second one there. So basically, where those two cross over, I'm going to go, let me just do that. I'll pass my needle underneath, like so. Oops. Pass my needle underneath, like so. And as you can see, those two, where they've crossed over, I'm going underneath those two there. And all I'm going to do is just pass my needle through, take the excess through, like so. And just before I pull it all through, what I'm going to do is just pull on the loop like that so it tightens it down at that point there. And you can see now it's a lot stiffer to go through. OK, so that's the first one done. And we're going to do exactly the same again. So what I'm going to do now is just turn that round a bit so that you can see it. I'm going to take this lead here and I'm going to pass it over like that at about 45 degrees. And then just take it around the back of my hand like so. And we're back at the beginning there. And so the next thing I'm going to do now is exactly the same as we did before. Where those two, so if I just separate those out a bit. Okay, so the, there's one, two chords at the bottom there. Where they're crossing over in an X. And where that X is, I'm just going to pass my needle through like so. There you go. And you can see the X is now being lifted up. There's the X in there. And as it's lifted up, pass my needle through. Pass it through like so. OK. So I just pull back up a little bit. Because what I want to do, just pull it back a little bit. I forgot that bit. Is just pull it up a little bit tighter. Lock it into place with your thumb. And then bring it through like so. And then that's all we do. And then all I'm going to do now is go round again. So I'll go round again like so. All the way round. Take it all the way round. And once I've gone all the way round, once again, once again here, just let me show you where they cross over there. There's two crossing over there. So I'm going to go underneath those two like so and just pull my cordage through. Pull the cordage through, and when there's a little bit left over like so, just go and pull it up nice and tight. So what you're doing is you're locking the previous one in place also, and then just pull the remainder through like so. Pull it through, and then we do exactly the same again. Go round, round like so, round the back, round to the front like so, then get the needle and pass the needle in between those two there, underneath the X which is formed like so. So it's coming out at that side there at that point. 
take it through like so, pull it through, and then when I've got a little loop there, just to pull it up nice and tight, and then hold your thumb over it to lock it all into place, and then pull it down. And you can see here now, just in that short section there, we've got a nice pattern appearing for our ring bolt or cox combing or ring bolt hitching and cox combing. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna carry on and do a little bit more. You can see what my result is, and then I'll, at the end of this, I'll tell you exactly what measurements I used to create this particular knot, okay? So I'll see you in a minute. So as you can see, I've done a little bit more here now, slightly twisted, but what I can do is just gently, and you see it's fairly tight. If you can hear over the dog, but as I'm twisting it, you can hear it creaking on, on my actual pipe itself. So let me just show you one more time and let's see if I can just keep this in close up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around once like so, take it round once, and then where those two have crossed over, I'm gonna put my needle in between there like so. So feed my needle in between like so, get my cordage through, then when I've still got a little bit of a loop left over, just pull it up nice and tight like so, and then pull the rest of my thread or cordage through. There you go. And then it's got a slight twist in it now. In fact, if you wanted to, you could go round in a spiral, just allow it to twist naturally. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna square it up a bit, like so, and you can see there now, I've got a lovely finish across there just a lovely little herringbone type effect across there. And then on the back here, all I've got to do is just line these up so they're nice and symmetrical on the back here. And like I said earlier, because this is slippery pipe, you will find that when if you use it to grip hold of, it will move a little bit because it's on a slippery pipe. But like I said, you could, if you wanted to use that finishing try and say the word properly, John, use that finishing solution, and that finishing solution will not only protect your um, cordage, but it will actually glue the back in place, and so there's less chance of that shifting. But also, if this was on a piece of wood as well, wood is a little bit rougher than um, a PVC pipe, it would actually hold it more securely as well. Um, the other thing that I would do as well is when I'm making this, just to finish it off and make it look nice and tidy, I would put a small Turk's head there and a small Turk's head on that end there, just to, yeah, it covers up the little unsightly bits, but a Turk's head is always a nice way of finishing a long knot off. So yeah, that could be a nice decorative staff with a Turk's head on that end with a different color, another Turk's head the same color as the other Turk's head or even a different color, you know, the choice is yours. But today's little exercise was just to show you how I did single strand ring bolt hitching, or as it later became known as cox combing. And don't forget, at the end of this video, I will also show, I will also show you how to do it, or a link to a video on how to do it with three strands. And to be honest, I prefer the three strand method because it's just a little bit tighter on the back. Those leads are closer together when you're using the three strand method as opposed to using the single strand method. But the, the three strand method is just a slightly little bit harder, but it's still easy enough to do. But as you can see here now, we've got a lovely effect here on our piece of pipe. Um, and measurements at the end as well. So once again, thanks very much for watching. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down. But whatever you do, please leave me a comment so that I know what I'm doing wrong and how I can change things in the future. And definitely some of the comments I've had in the past are brilliant because some of these knots that I've shown in the past will be revised and updated. So once again, thanks for watching and see you again next time. Bye-bye.